Friday, March 27th, 2020. Friday. Friday. It makes my knicker spin just to utter the name of this hallowed day. A day designed to sip and to dip and to dance in a gay indulgence of the week's end. Friday. Ooft. Here's to you. We are fantastic. You good to go? Well, yeah, we're going. We're recording. Episode two! The trouble with the wine is it makes me a wee bit sleepy. Yeah, I, I might be dozing off in this recording. I think, but I think if we have the bottle of wine, then we can. Uh, if we have a beer after that. Right, well. We should begin by saying, congratulations, listeners. Not only have you made it to Friday, but you've made it to the second episode of episode the Red Episode two. Card. This is unbelievable. A full week, Ben. Full week, full week. Hey, cheers. Cheers. More importantly, though, it's not even that we've completed a week. It's that we didn't... I really thought we'd give up on this pretty quick. Well, no. If we, Going back to episode one, you were like, what is it? We are nothing. If not rigorous. If not rigorous. True, true. I was true. willing to give up. And you took me away from that then. Yeah. Put too much of ourselves into it to turn back now. Yeah, exactly. Um, we'll see what happens. And and I'd say on the whole, the first episode, if not a little bit leggy, we got lost in Kitchen Corner for a while, <laughs> listening back. It was just complete dribble talking about our just, Tesco shop. Just like, naming items. I think we found our carrots much more interesting than anyone else ever will. But, but as we oh, said, that, okay. this is for us at the end of the day. Yeah. We had great, well, mixed feedback on the jingles, but on I've only oh, been I disagree. To all the good feedback one. I've had has been unbelievable. Matt McCluskey said they weren't; they were tough to swallow. Yeah, that boy's got no taste. He's miserable about everything. So, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Anna hasn't listened to it yet. Oh, not at all. No, <laughs> not once. Well, if you're listening, Anna, <laughs> thanks for making it this far. She's too embarrassed. Embarrassed of what? Of me. <laughs> I think you, you're making a very good account of yourself so far. Yeah. We've still got our uh, three clean strikes on our YouTube. What's the thing? The community? Yeah, no strikes yet. What's it called? It's, I don't know. It's, a, it's this strike-based system. The for their, of yeah, YouTube. For their, yeah, for their community guidelines. Still and I thought we were going to get one straight away for a bad, <laughs> a bear ass. A bear bot bot. Um... But, I mean, if you're listening, YouTube, it, it, it's Photoshop, it's not real. Mm. Anyway, uh, if you're listening, listeners, it is real. It's very <laughs> real. <laughs> uh, Shall we get? Do we go straight to where's your hair? No, it's important to say in the intro that we've changed from um, Doctor's Diary to the Daily Dazzle. Daily Dazzle, cur- courtesy of Daisy Buso. Beautifully read with a, what we asked for. We didn't ask for anything, this is a normal voice. (laughs) (laughs) What we asked for was somewhere between Radio 4 and Nigella Lawson. And I think she's just smashed it right out of the park with that. Very relaxing way to start every It's fantastic. It's our favourite. I think that's our favourite part of the podcast. The bit that our voice doesn't feature. (laughs) Yeah. Definitely. As we say, check out her blog that's in the... Link's in the description. Link's in the description. Should we start with where's your head at? Yeah, I think that's it. On we go. Deco, Deco, Deco. Where's your head at? Deck, 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 deck. Where's your head at? Where's your head? I can't believe it's not butter. Losing my head. 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 Where's your head at? I'm over here. I now find myself alone in the sitting room and can't see Deck anywhere. Deck? Help! Where, where, Help! <laughs> where are you, Deck? Oh, Ben, I'm so warm. He says, oh, Ben, I'm so warm. I'm oh. dripping from head to toe in sweat. It's like the surface of the fucking sun. It's like the surface of the ruddy sun, he says. Oh. What, what's put you in this state, Deck? He says he doesn't know where his body starts and where the bed begins. It's just Heavens. I've got no good memories of this place. He's got no good me- None at all. Well. <laughs> well, he says. Yeah, well. I don't really know. What you spend like literally 
85% of your life in that space? You must have at least some good memories of it. He says he spends a lot of time asleep in it. Well, as you uh, have gathered, listeners, Deck is curled up in his bed, but it's not all as it seems. He's not having a good time. Deck, come on back, and we'll explain episode two, Electric Furnace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Listeners are waiting. I'm back. So... Electric Furnace is the name of episode Electric two. Furnace. Yeah, I think it's better than the previous name. Yeah, well, fuck me. Uh, it, I don't know where to start with this. I, I know where to start with this. I'll explain it from my perspective. <laughs> that every time we would go on a night out, I'd go into Deck's room the next morning to see, basically to check he's alive. One of my biggest fears in this flat is that I will one day wake up and Deck will be dead. The truth is, mate, I, I don't make very... I, I do not make that many bad decisions. But, but this is definitely one of them. This is not just a bad decision, a recurrent bad decision. It happens all the time. I can't stop. It happened when we first moved in and I went to see Deck and he was... He looked frail. He looked like the human equivalent of a raisin. But a very long, thin raisin. I've been described as a raisin before. I'm, <laughs> so, I, uh, the room was arid. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in my, old, in my old house went, so you, you know this guy here? He's like, I was like, well, yeah, we live with him. He's like, he's a grape. I was like, okay, so where are you going with this? You're, you're the equivalent raisin to his grape, <laughs> which is probably one of the, the worst put-downs I've ever had. I like anyway. raisins, personally. Oh, well, this is why we get on I've with. had a... I, I'm regularly known to scram down on a pack of chocolate-covered raisins from Tesco. <laughs> Don't dribble! Dang! For heaven's sake! No, it's okay. We can't afford to lose this precious liquid. <laughs> um, yeah, but, so I would go in and check if Deck was living. And the first time this happened, I could kind of pass it off as a drunken mistake. But it happens again and again and again and again. Well, the problem that is... That I come in and Deck is complaining that he's left it on level three. It's and... top level. But the problem is, I don't... I very rarely put on my electric blanket, like, on a... Well, just on a normal day. Because I like to get in my bed and, like, warm it up. Mm. However, I don't know what happens. When I get drunk and I come in from a night out, I, I think it's the fact that I feel like I deserve a treat. <laughs> So like you deserve to cook in your own juices. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it gets to. At the start, I t- usually when I get into the house, I'll take off my trousers or something like that, remain fully clothed with everything else. We'll mess around for a bit in the lounge, getting up to making a mess. Yeah, shenanigans. Before either you fall asleep on the sofa. That always or, happens. Or, yeah, or make your way to your room. And then I eventually go to my room and think that I'm sober enough to turn on my electric blanket. And But this is the thing, you never turn it on when you're sober. Yeah, I don't You know, never I, wake up gasping for air. I think it's because I feel, I'm feeling comfortable hmm. most of the time. Like when Too I'm drunk. Comfortable, maybe. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's the point. So I get in, like, I'll be watching a video on YouTube or something like that or... Turn your phone on fucking Sorry, silent. Sorry, it's on silent. Sorry. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> I'm lost now. No. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get, I'll get into my room and, and I'll think, yeah, nice little treat. Watch them on YouTube, like maybe some Man United highlights or something like that. And then I'll go brush my teeth or something like that. Come back into the bed and it's, it's nice and toasty. I don't. Do you fuck brush your teeth when you get in hammered? I'll go for a piss. You come back. I'll go for a piss. <laughs> I'm trying to sound more civilised than that. <laughs> I'll go for a piss or a poo or something like that and then I'll crawl back into bed <laughs> and it will be so toasty and warm and then I'll start watching my video and the next thing I know is I've, I'm waking up gasping for air and I've kind of like semi-consciously folded onto the other side of my bed like over the top of the mattress but the electric blanket. I think you've just on... been. I think the convection that's taken place from the amount of heat coming off the matches has lifted you up and away, <laughs> and you've blown away like a newspaper <laughs> down, a, down a dirty street. Well, yeah, this is on a normal day. After you just find yourself being slammed against the ceiling <laughs> yeah. by the convection. I current. mean, that is what happens. I usually have to put pennies in my shoes to keep myself weighed down, but um, but yeah, I'll... just flapping around above you. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you know those like, um, when Americans you're, like, you're not going to stop <laughs> when America I swear it's only Americans that do this but where they put those like tassels on fans so that you can see the fans going mm-hmm. because apparently the enormous sound of the fan doesn't tell you that it's on anyway yeah so your head's buzzing along <laughs> yeah what an image well thank you I've just got <laughs> Just on the sea. I come in and you're just stuck to the just ceiling. floating up and down like, <laughs> Ben, <laughs> help. Well, anyway, I will wake up on the other side of my bed because the electric blanket only covers half of it. And my front front side will be burning, like burning hot. And I'll have like, and it'll be like one, like, yeah, like one arm, one leg, like, like pelvis just on fire. <laughs> I'm like hung over and semi asleep, semi awake, not really knowing what's going on, just thinking I'm dying. And then my back will just be fucking freezing because I like the shutters will be open where I've forgotten, or, you know, <laughs> and I'm just gonna be there like, oh, oh, oh. The human temperature grade. <laughs> yeah, if you could get those goggles on me, it'd be a fucking, it'd, it'd be like a Jackson Pollock. And I'm just literally lying in bed. And then I'll just wake up to Tech, Tech, are you alive? Or just banging on the wall, just you going, Tech! I come in once and I look at you and I'm like, water, we need water. Because I can tell that you're in a bad way because like, you look incredibly hot, but also you've gone past the point of sweating. Because there's clearly no moisture left in your body. So you're just dry, I can see you drying out, slipping away. It's dangerous it's... though, man. It's da- like, I'm really scared. I'm but that- why do electric blankets exist? Well, they're, they're, they're really bad safety. They're like fire hazards. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. It's like going to bed with a radiator. It is but going to bed with a radiator. You're, you're actually not meant to get in on top of them. It like, says that in the instructions. What, you're meant, to, you're meant to like heat up your bed, turn, turn it off, and then get into it. <laughs> I see, I see. You're not meant to share a bed with an electric blanket. Not, no, not really. really. But, but then you've just got all the coils there. No, no one does, because they're horrid. Oh, that's not true. They are horrid. But, okay, so imagine if you became dependent on your electric blanket. I think it's already happened. And then you could never get into bed again without being freezing. Yeah. It's a dangerous deck. Worrying. Anyway, and then, so I'll feed Deck a bit of water, pour it into his mouth. You don't pour it, you, you open, open, <laughs> you squeeze my lips, and I'm like, stop! But I'm too hungover to like push you off, so I'm just kind of like flaccid on the bed whilst you try, you just literally empty a, a pint glass of water into my mouth. I'm like, pour it, pour it! It's like when you get a really dry sponge and you pour a bit of water into it and the colour changes and you can see it like inhale. No, I disagree. It's, it's too dry and that's the thing. It's like when you have the driest mouth and you try and get liquid in it but it's so dry that your mouth won't even take it. That's all that's happening to me. You're just making my bed wet. That's all you're doing. <laughs> and then you get getting electrocuted because the electric blanket's still running. Just buzzing away. This is the thing. I've, I, it even got to the point where I would, I would unplug the electric blanket they did that like two, three times. What, before a night before out? Before a night out. And then I would literally just get home, plug it back in. Maybe take the electric blanket off your bed. Oh, and then no, it's worth it. Problems. It's worth it for those few times that it's not, everything goes to plan. It's not worth it for what I have to see. I come in and, see. and then, so then I'll have poured water down your gullet trying to bring you back to life. And I'm like, <laughs> he needs sunlight. It's like trying to bring a dead plant back to life. I give it water. <laughs> they're like, he needs sunlight. So I go to the shutters. Which you, uh, by the way, waking up in our flat when you shut all the shutters is like a fucking bomb cave. Because you want, so I crawl into the lounge and all the shutters are shut, so I can't see anything. I'm just wading through like empty cans. <laughs> yeah, but you don't even, you don't open the shutter. Oh, that's a different episode, don't you? <laughs> it's a different episode. Different. Oh, shutter, shutter yeah, island. Shutter island. Anyway. And then I open the shutters and that's the first bit of noise that Deck will make for the day where he just squeals like, Aah! as the sunlight <laughs> burns his face. Uh, I'm a night owl then. What can I say? Night owls clearly do not enjoy electric blankets. We like being Poison te- crispy owl. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. Um, I enjoy being toasty. There's a difference between, between being toasty and toasted though. But I, don't and have... I think you fall on the wrong side of that line. Yeah, but... <laughs> ben, I don't have much meat on my bones. Yeah, which is all the more reason for you to stop using the electric blanket. What, do you think it's dehydrating me? Eat breakfast. (laughs) 
Oh, another tipple. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I had breakfast today. I had two boiled eggs. And then banana. you had two crackers for lunch. That's it's not did. enough, I had, I had Marmite, Marmite pasta. Oh, yeah, you did. Which, I might have to finish that. Mmm, mm, delicious. Delicious. Wow. No, no, you, you. Yeah. Delicious. You're strong. Me and Dad <coughs> have a belief that we're going to meet in the middle and during this time and we'll have an identical body shape by the end of it. I mean, fingers crossed, that'd be great for me. Maybe not so much for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't really want to do the whole beard business. I've been complaining about this already. Yeah. Because I thought during this time is maybe the perfect time to attempt a beard. It definitely right? is. But I can't hack it. I get to like day three of this kind of puby roughness on my face. You mean my face? <laughs> no, I don't even get that far. And it's disgusting. I don't understand why people grow facial hair. It feels horrid. But this is the thing. I, I mean, I still can't grow a beard. But like, I'm definitely way better than what I was. Whereas I'm the complete opposite. If I shave, my face ends up feeling sticky and like tacky. I don't like that feeling. And Christ, I mean, I could go off this... I could go on about this for a long time. <laughs> well, you, weren't, oh, you weren't there, but... I was in Sainsbury's last term with Marco. Mm. And um, the cashier... Like, I was getting some, some bit teas, mm. which are lagers. Um, tenants. Tenants. Oh, great beer. Great beer. Oh, I missed the tenants. Uh, either way, so I... I I'd gone up to the desk and he just saw someone else with her ID and then he looked at me and was like, oh no, I don't need your ID. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I mean, you're definitely 21. You've got amazing, like beautiful facial hair. You've got a really good beard. And I went, wow, wow, wow. I, know, I was like, wow. I was like, what? And because Marco had been telling me before and I thought he was like rustling me by being like, Dave, you've got, you've got like a, you've got facial hair. Like, you've got a beard. And I'd be like, shut the fuck up. You do, you've got a good tash. Yeah, but anyway, Mark is saying this and, you know, I spent my whole life, I like, praying for a beard. Like, got to that point. What a shit thing to pray for. Oh, but Matt, it's one of those things where, if you don't have it, oh, it's, or like, oh, it was just, we'll have, we'll have to get some of my old uni friends on here to talk about it, because it's, it's, it was a real thing in our house. You know, it wasn't that I wanted a beard, it was I wanted the option to be able to have one. Why? Because... It's itchy. No, see, I... All the worst things in the world are itchy. Name one. Number one in that list is beards. Itchy. Tickly. Oh, Not see, in I, a nice way. But I, I like being tickled. <laughs> 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 anyway, we digress. Um, Big digression from the and banker. Yeah, so... Um, so, I turned to Mark and Mark was like, yeah, yeah, see, I told you. And then, like, I had a couple of beers, but I started to cry... <laughs> What? Because it was like the first time anyone had like told me and I'd actually genuinely... First time you were validated as a man. Yeah, like genuinely... <laughs> in the class of your peers, you were told you have a good Honestly, beard. Like tears of ha- like just Are pure... you serious? Honestly, I was, I was so happy. Oh my lord, Dad, get a grip. <laughs> For goodness sake. Well, so... I'm glad you're yeah. happy. But anyway, I'm, I'm on the way. But yeah, so I, I disagree. If I shave... I feel really, my face gets really tacky and I get real bad spots as well. See, I find it's the opposite. If I don't shave, I get basket. Because it's all this, like, <laughs> muck muck being caught. Although I feel like my skin is getting bad from being indoors all day. I think mine's thriving. I think I'm touching but my face too much. Yeah, I'm definitely touching my face too much. Hmm. Hmm. But this is why we're the perfect double act. Not because we can touch each other's faces. But where <laughs> your beard is itchy and you get muck muck, mine's the opposite. With shaving. All right. <laughs> okay. Right. Is that what else we got to say? But surely we've no. Got I think some it's good. Sauce. I think we have to be careful not to drag. Is there anything else with the electric blanket? I mean, it's a. We've got a double instalment. Well, what have you made is now in full flow, so we have yeah. a lot of content to get through. Any other stories though for for our main? With the electric blanket. Yeah, well, like anything, it's, anything it's a story you... that has not yet ended, unfortunately. My, the electric blanket that came in my room is still in the wardrobe. That's a story. Which? But I, I've actually written that down. So, 
when you first got, because it was my mum that bought the electric blankets. Oh, Jackie Wag. Here's to Jackie Wag, by the way. Oh. It's her birthday this week. Yeah, cheers. Oh, f- um, yeah, I missed it. <laughs> it was on well, the she last... got our letters. She got our letters. It was on the last pod. Should have called her up. We could call her up now. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Wag, what a woman. What a woman. Happy birthday, Jackie Wag. Yeah, happy birthday, mum. Does she listen to this thing? No, absolutely not. Oh, well. I'm not sending her the link either. I might. I'm. Don't. That's why I'm son number two. Don't. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to us. I think my mum's listened to it. Yeah, but your mum's cool. No, my mum said to me the other day I was speaking to her and she said, uh, yeah, I'm about to have a snooze, so I might put your podcast on and have a listen. <laughs> I was like, well, what is it? Are you, are you listening or are you falling asleep? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, however you'd like to enjoy the podcast, do it your way, you know? We don't, we don't want to be bringing screen? Jackie Wack into this yet. Okay. The world's not ready. No. Okay. No, no. She'll, she'll, she's a whole nother level. Um, but anyway, the story I wanted to get to was the first time you unboxed the electric blanket was on your birthday for, for your one. And you, gave, <laughs> and you gave it to Daisy as like a legitimate blanket like to wear over the top and it had a you're like what's the blood for like, what are you I walked I'm like, what are you doing it's like it's a blanket it's not a fucking blanket yeah because I thought we could just put it on top of days and then plug it in and it would just kind of heat her from above instead of below but no right we done? we done we can leave it at that uh, so we're we going to Friday at 5 or are we going to Friday at 5 Friday! I'm a thirsty boy! Disco, disco, disco! I'm sorry, sir, I think you've had enough. It's Friday at 5! Friday at 5, glug, 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 glug. As we said, listeners, well done, you made it to Friday! <laughs> what a day! Also, a new jingle for everyone. Yeah, how good was that jingle, by the way? I think it's one of my favourite. We've got some stock music to stick in the back of that one just to give it a uh, don't, sense of class. Again, you're just ruining the sense of mystery every episode. There's, there's nothing I hate more than industry secrets, Deck, and I'm bashing them down one at a time. I am an opaque box, Ben. I don't know that. I, I can never remember whether opaque means... Just, what? 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 That's on the end of the Friday at 5 jingle. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I never knew that was in there. I didn't either! No, that's why it's 45 seconds long initially. <laughs> and we couldn't work out why it was that long. It's that little bell. Hey, well, shit, perfect. No, it's not a bell, it's the wine glasses coming together. The whiskey glasses. <laughs> yeah, it is! Look, listen. Oh. Oh, it's yeah, exactly- it is, it right. is. Cheers. So... <laughs> Friday at five, from this point onwards, we've decided, thanks to the inspiration of Joshua Page, a.k.a. Yes, thanks, Rampage, Rampage. a.k.a. Jim, JP, it's called Rampage, because Josh loves computers. Oh, yeah, so I did like, know He loves that. computers yeah. way too much. So computers are a type, like, something computers have as RAM. And I can hear him getting angry at, like, how I'm <laughs> misdescribing oh, wait, but... what computers are made of. But computers have RAM. What's RAM? And Random so... access memory. Yeah, you got it. That's, that's for you, Josh. And... <laughs> <laughs> He, and his surname is Page, so he became Rampage whenever he gets angry. But also, he has been a massive help. He has, yeah. You know, he t- he's told us about where we can put our podcasts up. I mean, we're not going to do it until, because until eventually we'll, enough, yeah. yeah, eventually we need we'll enough to migrate. To... Anyway, yeah. Josh suggested that we do a and a section, which is perfect for Friday at five, actually, yeah. because throughout the week, you, the, the lovely listeners, can send in your <laughs> questions and... We could, they can be questions about us, questions about you, questions about the world. We will answer any question. Any question we get into our, into our email inbox, we will answer. Yeah, and we does, may cut the, uh, the answer out of the final edit, but we'll, we'll definitely answer it. We promise we'll be you that. Tr- and we'll be truthful. Mm. That's the other thing as well. I'm, no lies. No lies. Not in this house. Not in my house. But uh, yeah, <laughs> any question we'll, we'll, we'll answer. <laughs> but we have Can't no qu- just <laughs> giggling away at your own jokes <laughs> but we have no questions this week because we've only just decided to do this feature yeah. so well no we, had, didn't, we didn't only just decide on Friday at 5 but oh yeah we're always going to do Friday at 5 but oh, we haven't been to a pub for a long time yeah. and that is typically what people do with a Friday 
No, I think, we should, I think in the same way, for this bit, we should just dis- like be like, what do you want to do this Friday? If the world was normal, what would you okay. want to do? Let's Good do our perfect, we're we're going to have to do it. Our perfect night now. Per- our perfect Friday. As in not perfect, but our perfect Edinburgh Friday. For me, I love Bilbo's. I'd like to go there again. So would you go Bilbo's for lunch? If you're doing a full timeline, I want you to do... I'd get lunch, lunch. meal because it's banging. Okay, you this get is it. Two courses for eight quid, and they're good courses. You can get like a steak in it, and you can get you can get whatever you want. You get like good food for eight quid. Yeah, there, and they've also got tenants on tap on a student deal now. Do they? Yeah, it's really oh, good. They've had it all year. It's really good. Uh, I'd then go. I'd then go to the museum because it's my favourite place in Edinburgh. Ah, uh, not necessarily for drink, but just to look at all the cool shit. Yeah. I still, I've still never, never been. <laughs> what? Right, it's Deck is my favourite place in Edinburgh. Well, why have you never brought me? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to Oz Bar. <laughs> <laughs> I go to Oz Bar because I love Oz Bar. I ah, see. They've got a free pool. We're already starting to overlap. Anyway, yeah, I'll yeah. get to mine in a minute. And then... From there, I don't really care, to be honest. I like to go to Gary's or Finger's or you can't just choose Subway's every good choose one and then let me do mine. Thing is, but past like nine PM of an evening, I don't really care where we go. <laughs> as long as I don't have to pay for entry and listen to shit music, I don't mind. Fair. And Subway's alright music, Fingers is good music, Gary's is good music. Gary's the only qualm I have with it is you can only get bottled beer, which is expensive and the Gary's special wasteful. as well though. Gary's special, yeah. But also, I've never had... Every night out I have him at Gary's has been rogue. Hmm. And every time you make me lick the mirrored ceiling. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Gary's has this wonderful ceiling where you look up and you can see yourself. So I always pick deck up like some like a scene out of Dirty Dancing. And... I, I feel more like Simba in my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a better analogy. And I make him kiss himself because he deserves it. I'll say my one now. Um, mine would be like a late lunch revs yeah um, but revs I'm so I know it's our bar but it's shite no hang on well I'm, I'm not disputing that but I'm basing it around the fact that usually we're in the studio anyway because it's yeah. just down the road but you've got to go underground for lunch not necessarily I'm not a mole anyway right go there for lunch chicken burger and a pint 50% off food yeah it's three good pound can't argue with the deal um, then I'd like to lock into a pub Osbar same for me that's what it was like play a bit of pool the one thing I don't like about Osbar though is that they show all those fail videos yeah they do that a lot in Edinburgh it makes me cringe it makes my like balls it. like they like, play these horrible jump videos into myself. in a lot of pubs in Edinburgh where they're like people falling off skateboards or like Stacking it off the side of a slide. But the thing is, like, I, I don't mind a funny... Like, the cricket one you showed me today of the old nano getting smacked in the face by the cricket ball by yeah. a son. <laughs> but, um... Like, yeah, but these are, like, horrible skateboarding this accidents. Is what, yeah, these are ones where people, like, smash their jaw on a curb. Well, yeah, anyway, yeah. we'll leave I it in that. Watch that. Um, yeah, I but I like going there. They, they do a good Guinness in there as well, which I enjoy. Mm. Um, and then from there... We've been here for 37 minutes. We need to move. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut that out. Um, from there, I basically for me, <laughs> my favourite place for a night out is wherever they will take our DJ requests. Good point. Good point. Do you care to because digress and divulge that, on that? Well, they need us, and what they'll like places like Subway. Okay, so their best nights and the ones that everyone loved the most are when effectively, like I mean, Marco's a key a key player in this. Marco, me, James a bit, we will make requests. Mm. But I like to start it off with the classics. <laughs> you need to speak quicker. Shut up. Because the podcast dies for every second of break that I'm we drunk. have. Where you, I'm so drunk. For the listeners at home, in those huge, like enormous gaping gaps where you think your internet's gone down, Deck is just looking into the middle distance, <laughs> admiring like the corner sing around our flat, trying to work out what to say. And I'm sat here twiddling my thumbs, wondering whether he's had a stroke or not, wondering whether yeah, I should call someone. Ben, you're, you're talking too fast. No, speed. Anyway, we've been going for nearly 40 minutes now. I. 
<laughs> You're not going to be able to stop now. I'm going to have to do the rest of the podcast on my own because you've lost the ability to speak. Anyway, I put on the classics. Number one, Alexandra Burke, Bad Boys, Bad Boys. Good tune. Unreal. Put it on, everyone's happy. Number two, Alicia Dixon, The Boy Does Nothing. Oh my God, get them on and it's going to be one of the best nights of your life. And then from there, Marco will put on, uh, what's the one? Touch me and now just touch me. Satisfaction. So I can get my satisfaction. Yeah. Good, yeah. Et al. There's, there's multiple more. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. We need to move on to... What, what have you made? made? Oh, exciting. Mind out. Vehicle <laughs> reversing. Oh, <laughs> Mind your fingers, love. You don't want to get them caught in there. <laughs> but you said I could use the extra large laser. Where are you? See if you goggles. Ben, look. Oh, wow. What have you made? Oh, Jacko. <laughs> oh, Jacko. Jackie boy. What's your phone? This is really gonna, really gonna kill the pod if we don't get this. <laughs> Answer your phone, you selfish pig. <laughs> the ears of the nation are trained on this phone. <laughs> I'm getting cross. <laughs> For goodness sake. Um, we're gonna have to cut this. We'll have to put like a short while later. <laughs> put it on speaker. Jacko, oh Jacko. Hello, Jacko. Hi. Hey, hello, boys. How you doing? I'm all right. Yeah, you? How have your last? Yeah, not too bad. How have the last forty-eight hours been? Stressful. Stressful. Okay. <sighs> But Jack Got a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> well, you are the first, so it starts me to go on. You're setting the bar for the rest of our contestants. Oh, I know, yeah. Well, I mean, well, it's completely up to... No, that's a, a good thing, because it means if it goes yeah. too low, that's then fine. it's fine. Everyone else, you know, can realise that it, you don't have to do too much. But if you go way too high, then you could actually fuck a lot of people over here. And as we always say with what have you made, <laughs> there are no wrong answers. There are no wrong answers. <laughs> This is a friendly <laughs> space. So, Jack, without further ado, what have you made? What have you made? I have made a cake. Oh! A cake! What kind of cake? Describe the cake. Okay, it is a parsnip and walnut cake. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. It actually tastes a lot like a uh, carrot cake. Really? Parsnip? Parsnip and yeah. walnut. Fantastic. Is it the same texture? Very similar texture, yep. Yeah. It's got, like, mixed spice in it. Um, it has banana in it. Is, oh, it wow. is this a dish that you're used to making? Is this part of your normal repertoire, or is this a brave new so, territory for you, Jacko? This is brave new territory, and to be honest with you, I was bullied into making it by my mum. It had nothing to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what um, about, yeah. what do you have it with then? Do you just have it on its own? Do you have it with butter or do you have it with... Butter? <laughs> Why do you butter a cake? You know, like banana bread you put butter on. I don't know. Oh, that's banana bread, know. isn't it? But anyway, like, is there, is there a frosting? Uh, there is frosting, yep. Yeah. Cream, cream cheese icing on it. Oh, so. yes. This is pretty good. It's got, it's got maple syrup in it as well. Oh, oh well, Jacko, you have to send us a photo of you I, I, enjoying your cake so that we can share a visual experience with our listeners. Although... I guess the main thing you want to do with a cake is a, a taste experience, but that's not something we can deliver. Do you have some there, Jack? No, I, I, did, I, I did think that it would be nice if I could send you some, but I don't think that's going to happen. Can you, can you just know, eat maybe. some for us now? And can we listen? If you cut it really, really thin and put it in an envelope, it would, it would be like a little lesser <laughs> cake. I think a very soggy envelope by the time it gets to you, wouldn't it? I don't know, I don't know. To be fair, you want a moist cake, don't you? You, you wouldn't you want a dry cake. cake. You were eating, what, what was it yesterday? Creme fraiche. Creme fraiche that had gone mouldy around the top. Waste not, want not. <laughs> well, Jacko, great work. I'm very impressed. I'm very proud. And are you Thank keeping you. the cake all for yourself? Are you sharing it with the family or is it... I, I No, I don't think I'd get it all to myself. I think, I mean, I doubt it was going to last more than a day, to be honest. And more importantly, did, did you find taking part in what have you made added some light, jovial relief to your week? Did it, was it uplifting, the whole experience? Um, I'd say... Given the timing uh, and the, the other work that I've had to do at the same time, it has been a stressful experience. But oh, God. <laughs> it, it, it did so, provide a... a so, wait a minute, we've made your week worse. 
<laughs> well, hopefully well, now all the stress is over and you can sit back and enjoy a slice of cake whilst listening to episode two of the podcast. <laughs> no, that is the upside to it, so yeah. Any advice for future uh, one of you made us? Is that what we're going to call um, One of you made us? I don't know. I... Oh, Jack, are you there? Oh, no! Well, that seems like as good a place as any to end. Hang on, what's so, happening? This is reconnecting to Jack. Oh, he's Jack, back. he's back. Jack, you cut out. Hello? You, you cut me? out, mate. You're back, you're back. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, any advice? I'm back. Um, yeah, uh, less thinking, more doing. Ah, ah beautiful. Classic. Beautiful. Words to live by. Thank you very much, Jacko. Yeah, we'll leave it at that, Jacko. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good Friday. Nice you too. Take yeah. care. Bye-bye. Cheers, pal. Oh, you just well. put him down again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get through. We've got to keep the pace. That was exceptional, I think. So, listeners, you can look forward to a photo of Jacko's parsnip and walnut cake. <laughs> I feel a bit bad. Why? <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> he, he, he sounded a bit dishevelled. <laughs> like we pulled him through a hedge backwards. He was... Oh, yeah, but now he's got cake. We've destroyed the, the poor boy. <laughs> now he's got cake. And I think it'll serve as an inspiration for the rest of our listeners and the country. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, on to the next. Time for contestant number, number two. Number two. Let's go. Let's go. Right, so on to the next person for What Have You Made, who will be... He's got the whole weekend to come up with this one, to be fair. Which is a very, like, generous amount of time compared to what Jacko had. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Deco, randomise. Right, so today we have got... 38 candidates, Ooh. followers. Um, so. <gasps> 32. 32. It's a high roller. Does that 32. mean it's one of our later subscribers? 32. It's Marie! Oh, <gasps> oh, oh Marie de Brias, the Mar- French countess. <laughs> Exciting times. Well, Marie, we're going to call you right now. How do you want to do it? Yeah, I can call her on your phone. phone. Do, it. do it how we did it before. Remember not to just shut them down straight away. All right. If Marie... No, Marie's at Chris's house, I think. Oh, exciting. That's cool. <laughs> That's not a good noise. Oh. It worked! Marie! Hey! Hello. Hi, Marie. How are you? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Marie, you're on with Deck and Ben, just so you know. On the ONTAP podcast! On the ONTAP podcast! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi! I listened to the first one. What did you think? Well, I know you're a big fan of podcasts. I was listening to it, and I was like, oh, this guy sounds like... I do, I am a big fan. I was like, this guy sounds like Deck. And he was like, yeah, that's literally Deck and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you listened wait, to... Wait, wait, what did you think? What did you think you were listening to? I thought it was Chris's podcast. Like, I don't know. I just didn't realise it was you guys. No, oh, it's so Aaron, you thought it was You thought it was a professional podcast. Sure. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> well either way, Marie, have you listened to have you listened to episode zero or episode one? Episode the episode about the Tesco shop being fifty pounds instead of eighty pounds. Yeah, that's the best segment we've had. <laughs> Marie, you well, you are now re- taking the place of Jack Palmer and the new contestant on What Have You Made? What have you made? Wait, pause, pause. Um, the squirrels, you were wrong. It's not that they got eaten by the grey ones or whatever. It's just they got out-competed. Out-competed? Yeah, they just No, no, no. we never said they got eaten. The it's oh, I, said they, I, I said that they killed them and then you, you said it was like they a They get plague. a disease, yeah. They got out-competed. What does that mean? It right. means the grey one ate all the food and so the red one had nothing to live off. Well, oh. no, 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 hang on, Ben. We've got evidence for that due to the squirrel tits. The titties, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to Google this whilst Dex describes to you what you have to do for what have you made. Well, Marie, as I'm sure, you know, you listened to the last episode, as you know, you've got, well, you've got 48 hours to, to create something and make something before we call you up on the next podcast. Anything. Anything. It can be, oh, we had the tagline in the last episode. What was it? It could be bread. It could be something. Or- Wait, hold on. Before we continue... <laughs> The squirrel pox virus oh. is carried by grey squirrels but does not affect them and kills red squirrels. I said I had a coronavirus. <laughs> hey! Coronavirus! <laughs> Can't mention that on this pod. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, sorry. Anyway, Marie, so are you up to the task of what have you made? Okay, I'm up to the task. I have to make just anything. Anything, anything you like. You want. 
you can sing, you can dance, you can... Make love. Yeah. I don't think dancing works in podcast. No, we're all about the visual arts described okay. beautifully over an audio medium. Deal. I'm in. Yes! Great. We'll Perfect. call you later in the re- week, Marie. Cool. Have a great yeah. Friday. Have an amazing weekend. Yeah, Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. See you later, Marie. Bye-bye. I can't believe how well this feature is going so far, that people actually... I know, it's unreal, oh. isn't it? Oh, Marie, isn't she just great? She is great. Right, perfect, we're ready to go. I guess we've just got to say, first of all, yeah, so get your messages in for Friday at five next week. Yeah, because, I mean, I've got so many questions myself, and I'm on the podcast, but sure, the listeners must be dying to ask questions. Well, exactly. So you can either send us a message on our Instagram account, um, or preferably um, an email to our email inbox, which is... We have an email address. Yeah, yeah, we do, mate. Oh, wow. We're, we're professional. Wow. Uh, to on remcast at gmail.com. Or comment on the YouTube video, maybe. Could do that too. I, I mean, I quite like them all in one place. Do you know what? Yeah, wherever you want. Wherever you want. And we'll answer all your questions. Um, might need to spread them out, though. Please give your name, age and location. Just to, you know, set the scene. And let us know if you don't want us to read out your name. That's another thing. Or make up a fake name. Yes. Well, either way, thanks for this. Right, episode three done. Is episode that... two. I think, mm, I think we should aim to be more concise in the future, but on the whole, we're going to... Guys, better. we'll grow with you. No, we hope that they grow with us. I think is... Is that what it is? We're not going to... Because we're hopefully the ones doing the growing. And they'll... When, when I'm saying with them, because I'm hoping the following will grow, and then... Oh, like, quantity of followers. But I mean, like, in our skill in delivering podcasts and good content, we will grow. Look, Ben, and you're, you're maybe... definitely right in this scenario. <laughs> no, but I think, hopefully, as we grow... We, as we! <laughs> as we grow as yes. podcast deliverers, the following will reciprocate in growing in number, strength, and loyalty. We are strong. Yeah. All right, it's over. Episode two, done. Good. Easter egg. Hit me! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was from the left. Oh. Wreck. <laughs> Under up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the dog. Oh, my lord. It's <laughs> like, you ready? Oh. Come on. Right. Are you ready? Three, two. Yeah! <laughs>